Your Honor, the state claims that this case comes down to faith, that your verdict won't be based in facts or reality, that the evidence for this risen Christ is nothing but a testimony of hearsay. No fibers, no fingerprints, no DNA. They've even called into question his very existence, questioned whether or not these words portrayed are his or from some other place. They say no man with holy hands and holes in hands could have ever left the hole of a home they dug for him. That death had to have taken hold of him. That empty tombs can't exist and perpetuated lies that say his body was stolen. But your honor, may I enter a piece of evidence for you to consider. As one body went missing from empty grave in its stay, a body formed, knitted together with divine DNA Fingerprints of Yahweh, grafted by, for, and through, spirit breathed, bones rattled into formation, fibers of flesh painted by spilt blood. This body, this body is all the evidence you need for your verdict. Transform lives of slaves into free men, bound by freedom, blind eyes open, deliverance from demons, release captives, wounded healers, offbeat marchers who found purpose in rhythm, men and women who had no reason for living, now forgiven, held together by symphony of love with strings and horns that can make even Beethoven smile. This body, your honor, cannot be overlooked in this case, for its existence finds its genesis in inexplicable encounters. Woman with issue of blood, man tormented by legion, seated in peace in Nicodemus Zacchaeus, woman at the well, shriveled hand man, paralyzed beggar made well, Canaanite's daughter, Bartimaeus and the boy seized, Lazarus resurrected, lepers who were made clean, mute man speaks, Peter's mother-in-law, centurion servant, Saul becomes apostle Paul. These miraculous tales are but the tip of the iceberg, the foreword to an anatomy textbook spanning centuries continents and cultures filled with chapters of transformation a billion stories filling the library of heaven each christian's name written on page functions as individual cells clumped together configuring tissues called communities crafted together to construct organs called congregations cultivated together to form organ systems known as regional churches, all connected together to shape this organism known as the church, the capital C church, this church. This body whose head is Christ is all the evidence you should ever need to quote this body's testimony spanning the past 20 centuries, he is risen. He is risen indeed.